sister and brother surfers of the binary ocean. In this video, we're gonna make a little program that copies text from one file to another in C. So in doing so, I'm gonna show you how to read from a file and write to a file with the C programming language. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm just gonna create a project in Xcode for this. You can just do a blank main.c file, you know, just in a text editor if you want to. I'm just gonna name this file. And I'm gonna make a new folder on my desktop called file that I'm gonna save the project in. It's easy enough. Um, and then I have my main.c file here. And let me make this a little bigger here so you can see it. All right, so uh, if, you, if you're not using Xcode, you wanna make sure you have your, including the uh, standard input output library. So that include stdio.h. You need that for uh, the file manipulation. And then we have, we want our int, our main function uh, that returns an integer, uh, which is this return here. You can get rid of these um, arguments that get passed into it. Those, that, those are for if we were to create our C program and then actually create something that can be run from the terminal or from the command line. This is so that you can pass arguments in it, into it as you're running it from the command line. We're not doing that, so, uh, so we don't need that. Right, and then in our in our main function, first of all, we want to put uh, declare a variable integer c. Then we want to do some uh, pointers to files, file types, data type. Okay, file a and file b. And then we want to open our files or f open. Um, so we'll do that, and I'll explain these as we go. File A, we are going to use our fopen function. And we pass in a couple uh, values to this fopen function. First, we pass in the, the file path. You can see in my desktop here, I do have a file a.txt there. I don't have a file b.txt, uh, but that's because we don't need it. So, um, and I'll explain that in a minute here. So f open and we want to open and we're passing in an r is our second argument to this f open function that means read we can pass in write you can pass in um, w plus which means read and write you can pass in a which means append uh, and we're, we're just going to do read for this one and then let's just copy this and paste it again and we'll just do file b for the next one and this is going to be file B. And this is going to be a write. Now, I want to warn you if you're if you write instead of append. So there's a difference between these two. Writing will first of all it'll look for the file. If it doesn't see the file, it will create it. So that's kind of nice, you know, if you don't want, if you don't have a file ready. But when it creates it, if there already is one there, it's just going to overwrite it, and you're going to have a you're going to be starting with a blank file. Whereas if you do append, it's going to look for the file and it's going to find, you know, when it finds the file, then it's not going to erase everything in it. It's just going to start adding whatever you want to have added to it um, at the end of the file. So we're just going to do write though for this because uh, we're just copying, you know, file A to file B and we can just overwrite it every time. That's fine. Okay. So now... We're going to do a little logic here that's going to uh, it's going to copy everything. So first, we want to just make sure that file A was found. So just if file A, just if it exists, basically, is what that means. Then we want while C equals get C file A. All right, so let me uh, well, let's finish this off, and then I'll explain that. Not equal to EOF. Okay. And then our little brackets there. So what this is, is this is, uh, this runs this get C function and which gets the character, uh, basically the next character in the while loop in whatever file we pass into it. So we're passing file A. So it's going to look at, for, you know, the first character, second character, third character, fourth character, and just keep going through it each loop of this while. So we're assigning that with that and then it's going to keep doing that while, keep looping through that until it gets to the 
end of file token, which means it's, you know, there's no text left in the file. And when it gets that, it breaks the while loop and then we're out into this if part again. But while we're in the while loop, this is where we want to, you know how there's print F and then you can write, you know, something to the terminal. Well, there's also an F print F where you can write to a file. And we're gonna, so we're gonna use that. We're gonna do the first argument we pass in is what file we wanna write to, which is file B. Second argument we're gonna pass in is gonna be uh, just a string formatter, formatter, for, yeah, the string formatter. I thought I was saying that wrong, but I think I said it right. So, okay, anyway, a string formatter for the C, because as you remember, C is an integer. So we need to uh, format that into a character, basically, so that it can be written to the file. And what that integer is, this get C, it passes um, the ASCII value, the A-S-C-I-I -I value. And you can actually look up tables on, you know, just whatever website and see what numbers, like, I think like uh, 32 is a, a space in ASCII and, you know, like 51 is like the number one or something. And, and 27 is a, you know, a B or whatever it is. I don't know, but yeah. So uh, there is codes for it's numeric codes for each character. So we're converting that and, and then that's it. And then, oh, and then our, in our, if after our while, we wanna make sure we close our files. So F close file A, F close file B, and we don't have any memory leaks or any weird stuff going on. And then we have a return zero at the end there. And that's it. So that should copy everything for us. We could do like another thing here too. We could do like put car C and that'll print it to the terminal. Let's do that real quick. So I'm gonna run this. Oops, now I'm gonna run it. So uh, we should get some console output just because of this put car C. Yeah, so it wrote everything to the terminal for us, but uh, it also created our file B here. So let me open up file A. Just, so I just had some quotes in the file. Um, and uh, revert changes. And then now you can see in file B, it's the same thing. Let me delete file B again here and just to show that again happening. And we're gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this put car this time. We don't need to write any, anything to the terminal. We could after it finishes, I guess we could say, uh, print F file writing, file copying complete. Okay, we'll run that again, let's see. Yep, file B is gone, we'll run it, say okay. And you can see it made file B. And then we got our file copy complete. I guess I could put a new line in there. And if we look at file B once again, there it is. It's got, it's got uh, everything in it that file A had. It copied everything character by character perfectly. So it's, it's cool. Little fun way to copy files. And now that you know that, you know, uh, you know, the C you can, you can copy like one line at a time, or let me show you a program that I made. Um, let's see. This is something I made for, uh, I have a ledger file. If you've ever heard of plain text accounting, you create a plain text ledger file. And then there's a program called ledger-cli. If you look it up on ledger, it's just a command line program uh, for checking your account balances and stuff and keeping track of all that stuff. It's great for personal finance, in my opinion. So anyway, I used that, but I was like thinking, uh, I kind of want to use this on iOS a little bit more, just on my iPhone, so I can put in transactions just in numbers, in you know Apple numbers like Excel, basically. So in order to convert everything into that, I needed to make it into a CSV file. And the ledger, the TXT files for plain text accounting do have a kind of a weird format. So, um, so I. I had to uh, do some file manipulation to get things to work. So like, for example, um, first I checked, you know, what mode it was in. So I have these different modes. Uh, there, were, there, You can put comments in the ledger file. You can put a description, you put the dollar amount. So, you know, based on what it finds is the, the data type basically in that file. 
it's going to uh, do things a little bit differently. But um, so that I could convert it into a CSV file properly and make it, you know, structured properly. But basically what I did was a whole bunch of else ifs where I was just checking the value of C. So I was checking, uh, I put some comments in here. Yeah, like C, if C is a, the integer is 10, then that's a line feed, which just means return, you know, that's a line feed. Um, if it's 32, it's, it's 59, it was a semicolon. So that means switch into comment mode because uh, semicolons are comments. Um, and yeah, stuff like that. So that's one use case, I guess you can use for just, you know, for this kind of thing, reading and writing files and see just to convert, convert one file to another type of file. So anyway, I hope that at least points you in the right direction. Give it a thumbs up if it helped and uh, g subscribe if you want to see more, you know, videos like this with tips for just programming and, and fun tech stuff. Thanks for watching.